It's primary season in Ohio and something like 511 candidates are jockeying for a chance to run for the U.S. Senate seat, opening up due to Rob Portman's upcoming retirement. Now, one of the more prominent members of the pack, Mr. J.D. Vance, who you may be familiar with having read his best-selling memoir, Hillbilly Elegy, which he shares his life story of growing up in Middletown, Ohio. Or you might recognize him from his role as a right-wing media commentator slash hyperbolic verbal brick thrower. This is the horse that he's ridden to political prominence. The same one he was riding when he came up with this political ad. Are you a racist? Do you hate Mexicans? The media calls us racist for wanting to build Trump's wall. They censor us, but it doesn't change the truth. Joe Biden's open border is killing Ohioans, with more illegal drugs and more Democrat voters pouring into this country. This issue is personal. I nearly lost my mother to the poison coming across our border. No child should grow up an orphan. I'm J.D. Vance, and I approve this message because whatever they call us, we will put America first. Wow, he really just said Democrat voters flooding into the country. They just say the quiet part out loud now, don't they? Doesn't that make you want to run to the polls? What was going on in that production meeting? I need to know. One of the writers said, you know what? Forget about hope and change. Let's just go with racial ignorance and fear mongering. And then J.D. chimed in, yeah, I like it. Oh, and don't forget the finger pointing. That is one of my strengths, both physically and metaphorically. I don't even know where to begin. I could do a line by line breakdown, but you know what? I'm afraid of sounding like a Jeff Foxworthy bit. If you've ever been asked, if you're racist or you hate Mexicans, well, you might be racist and you might hate Mexicans. The ad is actually pretty impressive. The music, the visuals, the point. And then he had all of the intolerance high notes in less than 30 seconds. He claimed victimhood, blamed President Biden, the media equated illegal drugs to Democrats, then blamed drugs from Mexico for almost killing his mother. I mean, her troubles were homegrown, beginning with an addiction to Oxycontin, but we can't let that get in the way of the message now, can we? The ad currently has over 2 million views and has inspired the Twitterverse to do exactly what it does best. Take what somebody says, flip it, and then slap funny on it. Like Laura Martinez, who wants to know when somebody puts peas in guacamole? Are you a racist? Do you hate Mexicans? Or George Janine, whose tequila drinking neighbor had a question for him after he asked him to stop singing Vicente Fernandez at 2 a.m. Are you a racist? Do you hate Mexicans? Or Alberto Jimenez, who had a question for all the people he saw waiting in the Taco Bell drive through line. Are you a racist? Do you hate Mexicans? Now, I even got hit with it today in the office because I use the word sandals instead of chancla. Are you a racist? Do you hate Mexicans? Now, I would add, you know what? I want to participate. I would add all the people headed to Cancun for spring break and lifelong mistakes. Are you a racist? Do you hate Mexicans? How about everybody who wears a sombrero out for Cinco de Mayo? Are you a racist? Do you hate Mexicans? And last but not least, do you equate drug addiction with immigrants because you can't take any actual responsibility? Are you a racist? Do you hate Mexicans? You know, it was funny because that wasn't really the talking point back in the 80s and 90s, wasn't it? That was heavy on addict blaming. I wonder, I wonder what changed. Now, in recent polling, J.D. is sitting up near the head of the pack, so I guess he figures the sentiments expressed in this ad will push him across the finish line. Now, I'm hoping it doesn't. Neither Ohio nor the U.S. Senate needs any parts of this kind of ignorance, but I can always use it for the joke, so touche there. Just 